Okay, so <clears throat> while you weren't looking, I added a sentence to it because I really felt that it needed like a face in there. <clears throat> and then I'm sure some of you have seen this before. This is really an old one, so it's a little bit rough, but uh, stiff. But normally it could be a lot softer than this. This is called a rubber cement pickup. I'm sure you've used this before when you're picking up rubber cement. Same thing with this. And hopefully this is dry and you could just sort of like rub the rubber cement pickup against the side. And as you can see, it starts to pick up the, the gum that's here on your, um, on your design. So little by little, it takes some time. But you can see already wherever there was, um, once you pick up one piece of it, it normally should all pull off together. So use the rubber cement pickup. And you can see it sort of like cleans up the area. And all the negative space, anywhere where there was mascoid, it has blocked off the, um, the paper or the paint from touching the paper. The center here. And again, this should be totally dry before you finish it up to make sure that you get the full aspect of it and what it does. I'm gonna take off more of the center so you can see what happens. Clean it up a little bit. Continue to pull. This maskoid that I have has been here for a while. So if you get it new, you should normally be able just to pick it up. And I put it on relatively thick. You could do it thick or thin, it just if you put it on thick the way I do, it takes you a little more time to pick it up. But eventually the final result, I always think is very um, impressive. And again, you just sort of like rub your hand over the areas to see where there's some maskoid that's left over. Anyway, I'm going to stop there so you can see what the uh, overall effect is. But you can see how it leaves that line that's there. And you start getting the flower that gives, starts giving a, a nice uh, sort of look to it. All completely finished, it'll be fantastic. And then later, if you wanted to, you can come in and blotch the background behind it. Which I think would be really beautiful to have this <clears throat> sort of blocked off in certain areas like this. And then you really get to formulate the, um, the flower or the motif that you're doing. You wanna leave some of the roughness in there as well. Again, it's to be much more free form. It shouldn't feel um, too worked. And I think uh, you get the general gist of what that would look like if it were all finished up with a beautiful black or navy blue background or purple with the colors that you used. Okay, 